This is Graham from .easy, and we're coming to you with a video from our WordPress series. This one is going to be showing you how to change the default page that shows up when your blog comes up, your WordPress site. And this is actually something very easy you can do. Now, the settings that we're going to be showing you is how to do it through the default method, because some themes will have their own unique method of doing this. It's actually a question we got asked in comments, so we're going to be showing you guys how to do this. If you do have a special theme set up, you'll need to make sure to go through the theme, but most of them will also support or work in conjunction with this option as well. So we're going to be showing you how to set this up. Now, here we've got just our default WordPress installation. There's nothing actually set up for it, just Standard default comes to one of the post pages by default where it says hello world. So we're going to be showing you how to modify this page. First thing we need to do as always is go into the dashboard, which we already have open. From within the dashboard, we need to go into the appearance and we need to go into customize. Once we're in customize here, you're going to have a bunch of different options. These are things you can use to change other layout options. We're not going to cover them. We're just going to go to the static front page. And this actually controls what page starts here. So your latest post is the default setting. So if you just installed WordPress or you haven't touched it before, this is where it's going to be set to. If you choose the static page, it actually allows you to change it. So we can go to where it says sample page. And there we can see it shows a demo of this. And it shows now our sample page is the default one. You can also select a post page if you want, but we're going to just leave it as the default one. What this means is it'll default all the posts to a certain page if you wanted to. If we're going to not touch it. We then want to click on where it says Save and Publish. And there you can see it says it's saved. Now what happens if we go to a regular site, you can see it's still the same. That's because we haven't actually loaded the page again. So we're going to load the page here, and we can see now our main page is the actual sample page we wanted to set up. Now just keep in mind if your browser is set to cache content, you may need to clear the cache between making changes. So if you're not familiar with how to do that, it's very easy. You just go in through the settings and tell it to do so. Generally, it's only if you're using Chrome that's more likely to cache it than other ones you're going to need to do it. But otherwise, if you have any trouble with it, you can always contact our support. We'll show you how to clear the cache. But otherwise, this is exactly how you can go ahead and set up a sample page to be the default page that comes up. Now, you can choose between any page that you've gone ahead and set up before. The only reason we only saw the sample page is because that's the only page set up. It's a default page. If you have multiple pages, you can scroll through and find the page you want to get it to look exactly how you want. And this way, you can work it in conjunction with most themes. Some themes, again, are specialized. And even if you set it up through this, they may override it. So in those cases, make sure to go in through the theme editor. And you should see a very similar option within the theme editor for how to do this as well. If you have any questions or comments, or you'd like to see other videos on something that wasn't covered here with some of the options we went over, or just something else in general about WordPress, let us know in the comments. Or you can also let us know on Twitter or Facebook. We'll be sure to try and look into them to answer them for you. Or we'll also make a video if we can about them. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter so that we can provide you with more information, more updates, more videos about things we're coming up with. Thank you.